Hello and welcome to another Toy Shop on Tour special at home with Toy Shop on Tour to be exact. That was a good intro. That was lovely. I nailed that. <laughs> you didn't mess that up at all. No. We're here at the Leicester Riders again. Best basketball team in the UK. Not biased at all. And we're going to show you some toys. Some yeah. lovely, lovely toys, Gav. I hope so. Lovely, lovely. No pressure. <laughs> but I want the best thing you've got. Oh, I've got something good today. Yeah? It's not your cup of tea. But oh, it really is. It really here is. Here we go again. How many times do you say, it's not your cup of tea? Essentially, it's, just, it's the, the precluded to like it going, it's, this is rubbish. No, this is not something weird though. This is oh. just cool. This is genuinely cool. Okay. So, you remember Nintendo released Game Boy in 1989? I do. Game Boy, wicked. Mm. Greatest handheld, loads of battery life. The only issue it had was that you couldn't play it in the dark. So they had loads of contraptions you could strap onto it and you know, you can play it in the dark. But you didn't want that. So in 1998, Japan, only in Japan, they released the Game Boy Light with a front lit screen. You're not gonna be able to see in this light probably. But there it is. And these are really hard to get hold of now. Oh, that little ding, the Game Boy ding. There you go, can you hear it? Game Boy Golf, my absolute favourite game. Obviously. So basically, before this, the people. <laughs> before this came Game Boy Pocket. I'm going to turn it off because that music will be annoying. Came uh, Game Boy Pocket before this. But this is actually a very similar shell to the Game Boy Color that came after. And uh, they're great. But now, you know, there's modders out there who will take your old Game Boy. They'll put a proper crisp display in it. And I've got one of them as well. So Rich from Super Game Shack, mm -hmm. one of our friends, look at this beautiful shell. Wow. Look at that. How cool is that? I like that. A wooden shell. It's not wood though, is it? And then, and there you go. Beautiful. There you go. Let's light it up. And that. Oh, the battery's gone. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> but yeah, they suck the battery life, these, uh, these things. How nice is that as well? But yeah, the main event is the Game Boy Light. Because they I, are rare. Can I have a look? Can I have a look? Yeah, yeah. So this has a light on, so you can play it at night. Yeah. Okay, and that one's just made out of wood, but isn't. No, but it is. Light's got backlit screen, nice fresh yeah. new LCD in it, new buttons. It does look, it looks great. That's yeah, I like it. I like it. It was the toy of the 90s. They said it wasn't humanly possible, but now you can have all the power and excitement of Nintendo right in the palm of your hand. Introducing Game Boy. It's portable, it's in stereo, and its games are interchangeable. Plus, Game Boy comes with the outrageous new game, Tetris. And for head-to-head -head competition, use the revolutionary video link and blow your opponent away. Game Boy, only from Nintendo. Now you're playing with power, portable power. Like every kid had a Game Boy. I bet you even had a Game Boy. No, I didn't. Of course you didn't. No, I didn't have a Game Boy. No, I wanted one. Yeah. I wanted one. And then uh, this really, there was this dodgy guy at school, right? <laughs> and he had some broken ones. He'd got some broken ones, broken mm. screens and stuff like that. And I was already being Mr. Entrepreneur, <laughs> trying to buy them <laughs> off him for cheap to sell on. And uh, yeah, it was like quite a thing. And then we got shut down by school for trying to resell Game Boys oh. at more money to all the kids. <laughs> but I'd have swapped them for toys, you see. Oh, there you go. You know, but yeah, so that's my only history with the Game Boy. Mm. I've never really had one. I think it's great, but Tetris, te like I think Tetris is what sold the Game Boy, wasn't it? It was Tetris yeah. Fever. They released a song. You're going to dig this. Didn't they? Do you remember it? Tetris no. in the charge. Yeah. There is really? Like a, yeah, like an electronic kind of thing. I need to hear that. Oh, oh yeah. Not on my Spotify playlist again. Can we have words about that? <laughs> I keep put putting it on. rubbish on putting there. It on. <laughs> it's terrible. The whole family and, and Gav and James at the shop abuse my oh, Spotify. Oh, James is the worst. With Don't Let Tim in there. You know, it's five star on there or something <laughs> like that. But anyway, Game Boy Light. That's my choice. Right. I'm sticking with it. I think it's a great item. It's a piece it, of history. It is, and they are cool. Yeah. I mean, despite my not being a gamer, really, mm. or anything like that, um, you know, yeah, it's a cool item. And people will love that. Mm. People will love that. Yeah. They're hard, hard to get in good condition. I mean, mine's got a few scuffs, but, you know, yeah. it's all right. But they won't love it as much as what I've got to show you. <laughs> Come on, then. I've won this already. <laughs> I'm not going to say 
anything. I've won this. It's not a competition. But I've won it. <laughs> this is better. These are actual toys. These have stood the test of time, apart from him, because somebody's 3D printed it. Yeah. <laughs> but they're amazing. They are. But can I be honest with you? I've also cheated. <laughs> These aren't mine. These are gens. These are my wife's. <laughs> my wife collects old Chewbacca, so these are gens. These are all gens. And the, the rules are, gens' rules are very simple. He's got to have a smiley face, or at least have that sort of feel about him. Um, I've not brought all of them, because she's got quite a lot, and she's got all the mugs, you know, the old uh, yeah, Sigma mugs, mugs. You know, Sigma mugs yeah. and all the different things. But I brought a few, uh, including a favourite, which I've got hidden for now. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, this is a 3D printed one. He's brilliant. He's, cool, He's just he? a copy of the original small three and three quarter inch figure that we know well known. And the guy about. that did that actually does full size, yeah, one to one scale which 3D prints of the figures, which is unbelievable. Which is crazy. But I'm going to go and put him down because. He's not very good at standing. No. I don't want him to fall over and get broke. Because he's a bit brittle. Those of you that know anything about this sort of thing know that this sort of stuff, uh, if it falls once, it breaks. Yes. So let's not uh, risk it with him. <laughs> we'll put you back in that bag. Yeah, you sit down there, love. There you go. But yeah, uh, this Chewbacca. Matt has a continual thing. Matt, our lovely cameraman, has a continual thing with put, cutting Chewbacca's out. Yeah. Of everything we do. Especially this guy. Yeah. He's, he's always got like, how cool is this, Chewie? And he's always the one that gets cuts out. Well, he, we, he was in the Sandown Park uh, yeah. episode. Well, we wouldn't want to film that when we filmed our one where we had the competition, which <laughs> no, I won. Um, then we, you know, we bought him as well, but you know, that was for me, so it didn't make the show. But no, Matt no, cut no. that one out. This guy, we bought on series one of Toy Spawn Tour. Yeah. From Ian at Vintage Toy Monster. Yeah, of course. And uh, yeah, Matt cut that out as well. <laughs> it's unbelievable. So, so basically, Matt hates Chewbacca. That's what we're saying. Yeah. Just like Gav hates the 18. <laughs> Let's mention that again, just to get <laughs> bring that one back in. Yeah, bring that one back in. Um, so yeah, we're going to put him away as well, because uh, again, don't want him to fall over. And my friend Jim Stevenson, actually, uh, the late great Jim Stevenson, uh, used to send these down for me to get them uh, redone. I did one for him, mm -mm. Um, but I got my mate Jay to do it, so Jay did them. <laughs> but then every time he had a problem with one, he just sent them to me thinking I was amazing at them. And then he caught me on the hot ones at the toy figure, there's a Chewbacca there, can you just fix it for me? And I was like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> sure, sure. And I was like, I had to make up a problem with it because Jay wasn't there. But yeah, he's just, they're just great. They're so cool. And this is a modern toy. I mean, this is very unlike me, isn't it? Mm. I mean, modern stuff in my house. But yeah, he lives sort of behind, uh, around the telly somewhere. And there's a big, there's loads of Chewbacca's up there and he just sits at the mm. back. But this is one of the gentle giant ones. They basically did big versions yeah, of the old they're figures. Good. they're Because so, they, they feel, you know, they like vintage. Yeah, they're lovely. And they're big. I do like these. One of the few modern toys that yeah. I do actually really like. So he's great. But my favourite is this guy. <laughs> oh. Absolute favourite is this guy. This is a knockoff, obviously, of a Chewbacca. You know, people that say about the green limbed ones, this is the green limbed one, <laughs> all right? This is the green limb one. Now this is a this is a knockoff. It's amazing. I love the fact that it's just got these big. I know those big pegs just poking out. It's amazing. <laughs> I mean, if there's ever a toy that says that will do and really doesn't, it's this toy. I it's love it. Brilliant. I absolutely love that. That's my favourite thing that she's got. In a it's collection. like it's like the great Garlu meets yeah. Chewbacca. It's just mental. <laughs> Like if you're going to knock it off, you've done the legs in breath. <laughs> yeah. What was going on here? I've run out of brown. That's what happened. I know. I just, just absolutely monumentally <laughs> crazy. Oh, it's brilliant though. But yeah, I absolutely love him. He's brilliant. So yeah, Chewbacca knockoffs. Uh, anybody who's got any of those want to send us? I've got a home for him. Well, my gen house anyway. Yeah, and then, uh, you know, this guy, you can't argue with, can you? Oh, no, he's great. He's the best great. one. No, that green one's the best one, but he's he's cool. He's cool. He can mess with his hair. You know what? There was <laughs> once, through an auction house, sort of, uh, through Vectis Auctions, mm. there, was a, there was a graded one oh, that went yeah. through with the tag on and everything. Yeah. And I, I thought, sort of, I can't. You can't play with him. No, can't. you can't cuddle him. No. Mind you, you can't cuddle these, because, they, again, they get that sort of thing. They're a bit, they're a bit yeah. stiff, a bit matted. <laughs> You have to <laughs> just knock the dust off him, bless him. But yeah, he's really cool. I do love him. Careful with him though, because that's going to go in it. That's really I know, it's on the edge. edge. Yeah. It's on the edge, but... His face. It's great, <laughs> I've had him with the back to me. I didn't even really see his face. His face is <laughs> it's great. brilliant. 
So yeah, that's it. That's my uh, sort of this uh, collection lives at home. It's great, you know. I've found recently that I can uh, buy stuff for Jen, just that I like. Yeah, I was, that's just what I was going to say. I've, I've this is not really Jen's collection. I mean, it is. It is. But it is. <laughs> Oh, you know what I bought her recently? I bought her a, a boobo. It's another gift from the gods. Like the sword and the helmet. <laughs> she hates it, so I put it on the shelf. <laughs> Extra two backers as a present. It's bad, isn't it? <laughs> but there you go. So there you go, I've won that one. No, I'm, I'm not saying this is a competition, but I've won it. Well, that's some good stuff. Like, everyone loves chewing. What's not to like? Yeah. <laughs>